Going on day five, day six, here in the Florida swamp. It's so desolate, and scary, dark, hot, and sweaty. It'd be great if I was with a woman, but not out here. Well, I, I tried to take a bath of what I thought was otters. They were alligators. I lost my glasses, so I still have mud butt. But it's okay, I got a fire going and I found, uh, found some black bear poop that I'm gonna eat. So I rounded up some good chow. A lot of people might turn their, their nose up, but bear poop has, is more nutritious than, uh, it's more nutritious than trail mix. It's got nuts, berries, fiber. A lot of my copycats on TV, now they pretend, they pretend to eat stuff like this, but then they have food catered to them. I would never do that. I wouldn't say any names either, Bear Grills. But uh, I managed to get this fire going using a uh, technique that I used as an army commando. We were training allied forces in uh, the Philippines, training in the stick knife, stick and knife fighting, ancient arts of martial arts in the Philippines, and, and uh, wrestling water buffalo in the rice paddies. And they taught me how to start a fire using an ancient Filipino warrior technique where you take cotton balls and you dip it in Vaseline. The Vaseline sticks to the cotton ball, which is your tender, and the va Vaseline has alcohol in it, and that's your fuel. Then you two rocks together and poof, got you a campfire going. Now, a lot of survivalists would argue and say you need a flint or a um, fixed blade knife, but nah, I never go into bush without some good lube. Not to mention it gets pretty lonely out here. That panther's still out here. It's making my post-traumatic stress go through the roof. I haven't been stalked like this in years. Back when I was uh, black ops, Delta Force, we were running ops down in the jungles of Colombia, looking for Pablo Escobar. And my team was tracked by a, a creature from beyond. He had advanced weaponry and he could blend in with this environment much like a chameleon, it took out my entire unit. I was the only one to survive. I had to bury myself in mud for days, almost got eaten by fire ants, breathing through a tube, a uh, bamboo shoot. You know, you just have to do whatever it takes in a survival situation to survive. Well, I found an old plane wreckage. And uh, I managed to scrape together uh, a tarp that was in there, an old parachute, some cord, and uh, a fishing net. And I fastened together a nice jungle hammock. It's the only way to sleep in the jungle, up off the ground, away from flash floods and poisonous snakes. I'm sorry, I, oh, man. Dehydration's really getting to me. It's not what happened at all. I. See it over there. Yeah. Anyways, I uh, ordered it off Amazon for 50 bucks. Well, the moisture in the air is getting thick and the wind's starting to pick up. It's almost like there's a storm of brewing. These flash floods can get you out here in the swamp. There's definitely a storm coming, so I should better hit my rack now and serve my energy and save this battery. I'll check back in with you guys at uh, 0800 hours. Gotta get some sleep.